Hello again to everyone out there, wherever you are. I uh, got a couple requests here again to show my tweaks and modifications to my phone, which is probably going to take a couple videos, but I'm going to show you uh, one tweak I think is really neat. And then also, let's see here, a little bit more about my email. Um, specifically the attachments, I'm going to show you an attached Word document, also an attached Excel document. And I think I'm going to show you a PDF file as well. I'll show you how it works if we have time. Let's see here. So let's uh, let's show you this really cool uh, Kaiser notifications tweak um, here. As you can see, I have um, the upper LED blinking and the lower LED blinking over here to the right. Uh, before, those uh, would normally show you if the phone was on or if you were on a Bluetooth connection or even Wi-Fi, I believe. But I thought uh, all that was quite useless, or, or or maybe maybe not useless, but maybe I could do a little bit more with that. And uh, well, someone uh, made up this tweak here, and it's really neat. So let's turn the phone back on, because that's that would be neater. Ah, oh, there we are. So uh, what this tweak has done is it, you see that there's a red light. Uh, flashing there. That means uh, that I have a missed phone call. And uh, the bottom LEDs here, you can see that there is a blue one that just flashed, and that shows that I have a text message. And then you can see that there's a green uh, flash there as well, and that shows that I have an email. Now, uh, I think this is really neat because when the phone is in standby mode the, sh the screen is off obviously and the buttons are somewhat locked except for the power button and uh, now normally if you get any notification such as um, a, a text message or an email um, the screen would pop on and uh, the buttons become unlocked and which is fine and all but if you're if you're doing something uh, that you don't uh, need the screen to be turned on then this is a really nice way of being notified without having the screen turned on. Okay, so let's go to my email, my Gmail account. And I sent this through my Hotmail account. And so I sent myself a, uh, a Word document as well as an, um, uh, an Excel document. The Word document is just something I just threw together real fast just to see if it worked nicely. And the Excel document is actually a want list of my of some music that I'm looking for and tracking down. So let's let's go ahead and click this document here. And there we go. That is what I wrote indeed. Uh, I, I italicized this. I did a bold is with an underline, a normal A, and then a bold test. And that is exactly how it looks. And I think I did the font extra big because I thought perhaps that the it would look somewhat small on the phone. That's a little bit too big, isn't it? That's fine. Get out of that. Let's go ahead and show my Excel want list here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I have... Yeah, I went too far. Sorry about that. Why don't I just use these little arrows here? There we go. Just an Excel file. Nothing, uh... Nothing too exciting. But that works. So uh, let's get out of that. Why don't I show you a PDF file? Now I downloaded this for a recent uh, festival here. You're supposed to print it out and it's like a little schedule here but instead I had it on my phone which is always nice a 
Oops. Just zooming in, and we can read some of the text. And there was a little schedule here, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the way that works. That is a PDF file. And so let's say if I wanted to send that, send, uh, let's see here, we have, yeah, an Excel document or a, a PDF file, all I would do is I would just hold that down. And I could, in fact, send that by my Gmail account, just like that, as an attachment. And then go ahead and write my message. And if I want to attach more, I'm pretty sure I can insert another file, picture, or voice note. And uh, that's how easy it is to use my email.